Today we're going to talk about one of the most common concepts that everybody seems to get wrong on the serve, and that is the loop. So what is the loop? The loop is obviously that part of the motion where the racket drops behind the back and then moves upwards towards the ball. Now most people are trying to work on that loop in an isolated way, and while that can help you in the beginning, it doesn't really fix your problem because most people try to make this loop happen actively. And that's the issue. The loop happens passively because we are trying to rotate our upper body, which then pulls that heavy weight in our hand, which is the racket, down behind our back. Because when we are trying to rotate and we're simply just using the rotation to create power, as soon as we rotate fast, the racket will go back and down and then when the tension gets unbearable, the racket comes back up. So instead of trying to work on your loop by tossing up the ball and then trying to drop the racket behind your back and then trying to swing up, try to start your motion with shoulder rotation. So try to start by pulling that left shoulder or left elbow down and back fast so that pulls your racket down behind your back. Like that, you will find a much more complete loop that gives you much more power and makes it way easier to be repeated on a daily basis. First, I'm gonna show you how it looks if you're actively trying to complete a loop. One more time, racket goes up. Now I'm trying to drop it and I'm trying to get an up. Now you can see that's not very rhythmic, obviously. Now if I'm trying to use my upper body rotation in order to create that loop, the whole thing looks a lot more smooth. Let's take a look. Now obviously if you're trying to do this, it's much more complicated to time because now we're not starting our swing by moving our racket upwards, which is easy to time, but instead we're starting our swing all the way over here in the left side of our body, rotating, which then causes a chain reaction that pulls the racket into the right spot. So that means we have to start much earlier with our hitting motion because I consider the upper body rotation as part of our hitting motion because it's the start of that motion. And we have to make sure that we time it perfectly or else we're gonna hit the ball unclean, which is much tougher because the motion is now so much longer. So give it some time to practice and try to work on that shoulder rotation to really complete that loop fully. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.